And now we'd like to welcome Howard, our history teacher. Howard came yeah. to the show. Hey, Howard, thanks hey, for coming Nick, back. Hey, Craig, how are you? How Sam, are you? How are you? excellent, excellent. Today, gentlemen, we are talking about the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage in New York State. Yes. Cool. Well, wait a minute. Women got the right to vote what year out there? That was three years before the 100th year. Well, what, what amendment got them the right to vote? The 19th. 19th, 19th excellent. Yes. 1920 19th. it was passed, okay? Wow, cool. So the 100th anniversary, now you know who these two ladies are, right? Susan B. Anthony. And? Katie Stanton. Elizabeth Katie All Stanton, right. that's exactly right. We're two excellent. for two. Excellent. All right. Excellent. You guys are doing okay. good, okay. So we're going to talk about, in 1917, women got the right to vote. In 1918, they elected two women, one a Democrat and one a Republican. Cool. That's pretty nice. That is pretty cool. And that's in New York State. No, yes, thank you. Okay. Um, out there in TV land, we're going to talk about New York State primarily, and then we're going to talk about on the national level in a okay, couple great. minutes, okay? But Ida B. Samus is her name, if you'll focus in on her. She was a Republican, and she introduced 15 bills, which 10 of which would become law. That's pretty good when you can get 15 of your ideas to become a law wow. and work and through your years. people. Yeah, in just so two years. Yeah, in, cool. in two years, yeah. So it's pretty amazing. Her first bill was kind of cool. It was a duck bill. Duck, duck, you know, like quack, quack, right? half black, you know, like duck, right. half black. Yeah, because New York State was shooting ducks all the time. Ah. And they were shooting them in ponds, they were shooting them all over the place. And what she did was she brought the national law wow. in compliance with New York State. Nice. So the national matched New York State, or cool. New York State matched the national. So. Gotcha. And then <clears> another <throat> thing she did that was very big for women, Women used to have a job, and they would have to work elevators, mm -hmm. and they had to work 15 hours a day sometimes. That's a long day. And they would be on their feet, and they would stand there, and there wasn't even a chair for them to sit. If they got pregnant, it didn't matter. So she got a bill that, that set them down to 54 mm. hours. Wow. And eventually, she would get a chair in the elevator. That's and a long women, work yeah. week. Yeah, that's a long work week, it is. isn't it? We don't do that anymore, do we? 40 we hours. Have 40 hours. 40 hours. 40 right. hour work weeks. And plus we get breaks. Yes. They didn't get breaks. Wow. They didn't get too many. This lady, Mary Lilly, please notice also, she was elected in 1918 to 1920 at the same time. She's going to be a Democrat. But you know what's really cool about her out there in TV land? She was the first woman to pass the New York bar exam and practice law in New York State. Nice. She would work to abolish child, uh, child labor and the death penalty in New York State. Wow. So we're going to keep moving as we go. But there's a problem. 1918, 1920 is when, the, when they became uh, in legislature. It wasn't to, until 70 years later that Anna Jefferson, for one year. Wow. Was it that women weren't running or it's just? They weren't elected. Wow. wow. They just, wow. people didn't think women could be in politics. In okay. fact, we'll talk about one of my favorite women. You know her, right, Sam? Yeah, Sam knows her, yeah. Shirley Chisholm, and she would run, and she would be the first Democrat and the first woman elected to U.S. Congress, and the first African-American woman elected to Congress. Nice. So that's pretty cool. And then she went on to do something else, which is absolutely astounding. She was, um, well, I wanted to get to this. She would, Sam knows, but she was the first woman from a major party to run for the president of the United States, 1972. Wow. 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 And that's pretty amazing. And you know, gentlemen, the one thing she said that people, mm. they said, we're against you. We don't like you running. And she said, why? Because I'm an African-American? You know what they no. would say? No. No, you're female. Wow. So they didn't, she even said, they didn't care that I was an African-American. They cared that I was a female. Yeah. They didn't think I could that's do crazy. the job. Yeah. Times are changing. Yes. Times are changing, but not that much. Yeah. Because it would be another uh, few years, and there would be a vice president, and her name was Geraldine Ferraro. Ferraro. That's right. And she was the first woman to run for vice president from a, a, from a major party, mm -hmm. the Democratic Party. And she ran with, come on, gentlemen, do you know? Michael Dukakis? Nope, no, uh, not Michael Dukakis. That's uh, 1988. Uh, before. 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 This it was, was 1984. Uh, actually, no. She ran with Mo Walter Mondale. Mondale. Right, right. Yes, Walter mm -hmm. Mondale. And uh, she was the first woman to run. So it would take 26 years until Sarah Palin 
So ran with you're Mitt saying Romney. that there were women, these women were the ones that were from a major party. Were there other women that ran from yes. non major parties? Yes. Okay. And, and there was Victoria Woodhull ran with Frederick Douglass. Okay. There were other women in the 1800s, but they never got very far. She actually got to the national stage, right. Right. which is incredible. And of course, we Hillary know Clinton. Hillary Clinton. Why do you know her out in TV land? Because the election was last year. That's yes? Right. Okay. Yeah, right. And she, she ran in office from 2001 to 2016. She was our senator, yep. mm -hmm. New York senator. And she also was Secretary, Secretary of State. State. Secretary of State, excellent yep. gentleman. But she became the first female uh, woman to be nominated for the president by a major political party. No, that close. And that, yep. Yeah, that, that close. close. Yep, electoral college, and we talked about that. Yes. Today we've been talking about it, but I want you to know, gentlemen, it's not, hmm. It's not a fair thing. Today, New York State has um, 41 assembly members and 11 senators who are women. And unfortunately, it makes up 25% of the total wow. legislature. In New York wow. State. Yeah. It's been 100 years. Is that above or below the national average? Well, we'll mm. see in a minute. Okay. That's okay, a cool. great question, cool. and maybe you have that out there. But please notice, in the last 100 years since women gained the right to vote, only 117 mm. have been elected in New York State Legislature. Mm. And we know out there in TV land, you know this too, most of you have a mom and a dad, right? Well, okay, so women make up 50% of the population. Right? But they're not 50% here, are right. they? No. They're only 25%. Well, it gets worse when you start to look at the makeup of Congress. Wow. The makeup of Congress, there's 535 seats because the Senate is made up mm -hmm. of 100 yep. and Congress is made by population, the census. And this is national 435. level. For, right, this yep. is the U.S. Yes. Congress, House right. and Senate. Gotcha. Okay. Please notice, of those 535, yep. 104 are women. So it's oh, wow. just about 25%. Again, 25%. <laughs> That's Which is not enough. Twenty-five percent, right. but it's less in the Senate. Out of a hundred, out of a hundred seats, right. only twenty-one of them. 21%. Twenty percent. Twenty-one percent yeah. are women. And then notice, please. It should be up to here by now. Yeah, After a hundred years, come on, women can do the job that men can do. Yes. Definitely. My yes. wife's a teacher. You know, she could do just fine job. She could stand up here and do this fine. Okay, women can do whatever guys can do. They really yes. can. I believe that with all my heart. But this is the one that really saddens me. When I found out this uh, graphic and I saw it for the first time, it really saddened me. Because 7,383 people are elected to the seats in all the legislatures in all 50 states. Right. And only 1,300 right there are women. What wow. percentage is that? Not very much. I'm not uh, a math guy. One out of I apologize. Seven, about, man, about what? 20 some percent. 17%, or 17 20 percent. <clears throat> Senate, again, look at this. Women, 441. Men, 1531. Three to one margin there. Right. Wow. Okay. And women, uh, total uh, House and Assembly, 5,000. Only 1,300 are women. What is going on? Okay. Let's not wait another hundred years out right. there, young people, before we elect enough women to represent the women out there in the population. The women out there. Right. You okay. got it. This cool. is Homework Outline. I'm Howard Krug. Thank you. I'm out. We Good would night. like to thank Howard for being here tonight. If you would like to know more about other women that have made impact, head to our website, homeworkhotline.org. Now stay right there. We'll be back in a second.